Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about CISA params keyword which is a very basic concept but important one. In this video, we are going to learn what CISA param is and how and when to use it in a CISA program. We will also discuss some guidelines associated with it. And finally, we will see the difference between params and arrays. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. C sharp param keyword. What is C sharp param keyword? C sharp param is a keyword used as a parameter that can take the variable number of arguments. What does it mean by variable number of arguments? Variable number of argument means we can simply specify any number of arguments in the method call. It is useful when we as a developers don't have any prior knowledge about the number of parameters to be used. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of example shown over here. There is a class named program that has two methods, print method and static void main method, right? In print method, I have this int array named list and we have tagged with the params keywords. So it became params parameter and that's how we write the param parameter. Okay. In this print method, what I am doing, I am iterating this list item and then printing this integer value into the console window. That's what I'm doing in this print statement. Okay. Coming to the main method, here what I have done, I have instantiated this program class. And that's what I have written program obj program is equal to new. And then I am calling obj program dot print method. And if you notice over here, I did not pass any argument. And still it is valid because param parameter can expect zero or more arguments. And here zero arguments. We are not passing any argument to it. So even though it's valid. So what will happen when we are calling without any parameter, it will go and print this console dot write line statement. So basically one blank line could get printed due to this print method call where we are not passing any parameters, any arguments, right? Okay. In the next statement, if you notice, I have called this print method and I have passed five, six, seven comma separated value. So in that case also, it will call to print method and then it will iterate the list with the help of for each loop and then one by one these values got printed. So ideally it should get printed five, six, seven. Okay. In the next statement, what I have done, I have created int array. That's what I have written int opening and closing a square bracket int array equal to curly braces opening and closing. And in between I have written this number five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically what I am doing over here, I am just creating an instance of this int array. Okay, so once int array is ready and then I am calling this obj program dot print method and in which I am passing this int array and it is also valid because we are passing single dimensional array and params can handle single dimensional array, right? So we can write like this and it's still valid. Okay, so ideally this value 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 should get printed into this console window. Right. Okay. If you see right hand side, the output, the first line statement, blank line got printed due to the print method call where we have not passed any argument. Right. So that's what this blank value got printed. And then five, six, seven value got printed because I have written this statement obj program dot print five, six, seven. And last five, six, seven, eight, nine got printed because we have passed this int array as an argument. So whatever the elements this int array was having, it got printed one by one. So five, six, seven, eight, nine got printed. So that's the beauty of C sharp param keyword. Okay. So here we are on Visual Studio. I have created one console application that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, there is a class named program. It has three methods print method, print address method, and main method. Main method, which is nothing but an entry point of this application. Okay, coming to the print map, what it does, it is going to accept the param parameter and that's what I have written params int array list. Inside this print method, what I am doing, I am just iterating this list with the help of for each loop group, right? And then printing this i value to the console window and that's what I have written console dot write line statement. Okay, coming to print address, what I am doing over here, in print address, it is going to accept params parameter in the form of the object array list, okay? And then I'm iterating this list and then printing the object value into this console window. And that's what I have written console dot write line dollar. And then inside this string interpolation, I have just passed this object. O. So that value would get printed into this console window. Okay. So that's what this print and print address method are doing. 
okay now coming to the main method what i have done over here i have just written these two statement that i am going to give this c sar params keyword demo so that's what i have just printed at the first line itself okay now what i am doing i am creating an object of this program class that's what i have written program obj program is equal to new okay and then what i am doing i am just going to call this print method with the help of this object that i have created just now okay so that's what i have written obj program dot print and if you see the above statement i have written calling print method by not passing any argument and if you see this print method i have not passed any argument so what will happen when we are going to write something like this it will go and call this print method there is no int array in the list so what will happen it is not going to execute this for each statement it will come out and then it will print this console dot right line statement so basically it is just going to print blank line into the console window okay so this statement will print one blank line into this console window okay coming to the next statement what i am doing calling print method by passing three int numbers comma separated and that's what i have written something like this obj program dot print five six seven so basically i have passed three integer numbers with comma separated as an argument to this print method and once we go and call this print method then these value will iterate it with the help of for each and then it get print it should get printed into this console window so ideally five six seven value would get printed okay in the next statement i have passed four int parameters comma separated so it will print five six seven eight into this console window okay in the next statement i am just going to calling print method by passing int array and that's what i have written this int array i have declared and initialized this int array so int array int array is equal to 5 6 7 8 9 so these are the array element okay and then in the next statement i am going to call this print method and passing int array as an argument and this is the single dimensional array so that is allowed right because param expect to get the value as a single dimensional array and here we are doing the same thing so that's the another way of passing argument as a form of int array okay so that is the way we are going to call this print method so ideally what will happen it will go and print five six seven eight nine value into this console window because in print statement i am just printing whatever the value we are going to get it we are printing one by one after iterating with the help of for each loop okay okay now coming to the next statement what i am doing console dot right line c sub param parameter with object array so here what i am doing i am just going to print this first line statement console dot right line microsoft address and then i am calling this print address method so this is the print address method where it is going to accept object array as a param parameter right so here what i am doing i am passing this object basically so microsoft corporation one microsoft where redmond washington 98053 united states so if you notice over here because we are passing as an object so object could be any data type right it could be a string it could be a number integer value and that's what it is just going to process correctly without any error and that's what i have passed this microsoft corporation one microsoft way redmond washington 98052 united state basically i am printing this microsoft address okay now let me execute this and see the output okay so output got appear into console window if you see the first statement console dot right line csa param keywords demo it got printed and then this statement got printed calling print method by not passing any argument what got printed this is the blank line over here right it got printed then i'm just calling this print method by passing three in param int numbers comma separated it got printed and the value what we are passing against this print method it got printed five six seven similarly in the next statement i have written this calling print method by passing four in number comma separated in console dot right line window so that's what it got printed and the method that we are calling with the help of these arguments the print method so these value got printed five six seven eight and then calling print method by passing int array so this int array is having these many elements five six seven eight nine so it got printed five six seven eight nine at the last i have written the csa param parameters with object array csa param parameter with object array got printed right and then this is the microsoft address colon it got printed and the 
I'm calling this print address Microsoft Corporation one Microsoft these are the you know objects I'm passing into this print address so what will happen it will go and call this print address method and will print one by one object so all these objects got printed like Microsoft Corporation one Microsoft way Redman Washington 98052 United States so basically we need to write something like this in such situation where we are intended to print uh, different data types values right so in that situation we are going to use the params object array so that's the demonstration of the csa params keyword guidelines for using params in csha so here we are going to discuss about the guidelines that we need to follow while implementing params keyword in csha number one it is useful when we as a developers don't have any prior knowledge about the number of parameters to be used okay let's try to imagine a scenario where we have a requirement to write one add method and we expect two input parameters and that's why we write a method that accepts two input parameters and we are good to go right it means that method would give the output of the addition of two numbers after a couple of days additional new requirement came where three number addition operation is required at that time we have option to write one override add method that is going to accept three numbers and we are good to go right what if in future we require four number addition or five number addition or so on so it's a pain right to write that many override add method so that's where param parameter helps because it accepts zero or more arguments and it's a wise decision to go with the params where we don't have any prior knowledge about the number of parameters to be used right okay number two only one param keyword is allowed in the parameter list of the method declaration okay let's try to understand with the help of example sono over here so first statement has two param parameter that is not allowed and that's why i marked as invalid over here whereas second statement is valid because only one parameter is used in this my method right so that's what i marked as a valid over here number three the param parameters need to be put at last if there is more than one parameter in a method declaration right and if you see the first statement which is because the param parameter is placed at the first position and not at the last one so that's what i have marked is a invalid because this rule what it says the param parameter needs to be put at last but here in the first statement i put it at the first position that's why it became invalid right so that's what i marked invalid over here whereas the second statement it is placed at the last position right and that's what it's the valid one number four if the declared type of the param parameter is not a single dimensional array then the error would be thrown in other words the param parameters can have a single dimensional array and not a multi-dimensional array so it's very very important things so whenever we are going to play with the param parameter make sure we are going to pass a single dimensional array not a multi-dimensional array one Number five, we can use the param keywords to pass a variable number of parameters to a method that accepts an array. For example, these namespaces using system, using system.txt, using system.collection.generic, using system.link. Params versus arrays. Params and arrays look similar. You must be thinking they look like same and we can use arrays instead of params, right? You are partially right, but there are some basic differences between these two. Number one. With params, we can pass zero or more arguments to a method. And that's why this example shows where we have this print method that is marked with the params parameter. And if you are calling this print method without any argument, it is still valid. But with the arrays, we need to provide the argument. Otherwise, it will throw error. And if you see this scenario where we have print method that is going to accept int array numbers. So if you are going to call only print without any argument, then it will throw error. That's what I marked as invalid. So what is the correct way of calling? We need to pass array. So print int array, and then we are going to call this print method, then it will be called as a valid one. However, if an array is marked as optional, we can pass a zero argument. If you see here, I have defined this print method and I have this int array numbers, but I have marked this as an optional. In that case, we can call print method like this without any argument. And in that case, it is valid. Number two, in a method, only one params parameter is allowed. That's why the first statement is invalid because we have passed two params parameter. But in the second statement is valid because there is only one params parameter. However, with arrays, method can have more than one array parameter. That's why I have passed here two int array int array n1 int array n2 and it is valid so there is no restriction on arrays right okay number three 
In a method, param parameters need to be put at last if there are more than one parameters for a method. However, in a method, we can place the array parameter anywhere in the parameter. So there is no restriction on the array parameter list position. Okay. Number four, with params for a method argument, the caller can pass an array of values or a comma separated list of values in the method call. Whereas with arrays for a method argument, the caller needs to pass an array values and not a comma separated list of values in the method call. So that's the difference between params and arrays that we need to keep in mind where we can go for the arrays and where we can go for the params. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what C sharp param is and learned how and when to use params in C sharp and also talked about the differences between arrays and params. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.